Hi everyone, Dr. Brace here with you today and I would love for you to meet someone very special to me, owner of Holistic Beauty Bar, Tundi. Today we're visiting Tundi at the Holistic Beauty Bar in the gorgeous Halton Hills and we want to ask Tundi a couple of questions. So the first question is, why did you start this holistic spa versus the standard spas that we're all accustomed to? Okay, good question. I always thought of it as a lifestyle thing. It doesn't just kind of start and stop with skincare. It um, really becomes from beauty from within. So my whole focus is skincare, makeup, deodorant, toothpaste, shampoo, and then your naturals, like your herbs, your tinctures, to support you from the inside, not just the out. I think most um, conventional spas really just focus on one dimensional kind of skincare. And exactly. I think it's a lot deeper than that. That is very true. And this is why I see you have a really big selection of herbs, teas, collagen, even coffee. Yeah. <laughs> even mushrooms, but not it the kinds. Mushrooms. Yeah, not yeah. the kinds that you guys are thinking of. Yeah. Also, I wanted to ask you, how did you come about Nivisio? And I know it's an interesting story, so I wanted to bring it up. <laughs> Well, I work with um, red LED lights in my facials and I had come across a place in the Danforth called the Freeze Clinic. Um, helped me immensely with uh, eczema and when I was having a flare up, uh, I was on a dire search for like red light therapy lights somewhere and they were the only ladies that I found. Um, at the end of my facial, they had uh, recommended your line. Um, but I wasn't very lucky with getting um, enough size samples to give me a good feel for it. And originally I'm from Oakville, so I, I often uh, wander into um, Anissa Pocket there in Burlington and she had a really nice display of your stuff there and I bought the box set and the rest is history. That's right, and now we're here in this beautiful space. Well, how do you see Novicio fitting into this holistic space? Um, the beauty of Nivisio is the simplicity of the two SKUs, and I'm sure there'll be more uh, down the grapevine, but I, l I, shall see. <laughs> I love simple skincare. I'm always trying to simplify people's skincare. Um, less is more. And the balm just acts like a beautiful veil, as you say, as a mm -hmm. second skin, and it facilitates that extra layer of protection. And especially here in the Canadian climate, I pair it with... Um, Living Libations is one of my larger brands here and it's just, it works beautifully and synergistically with a lovely oil and people have fantastic results with it. So the balm is the balm, <laughs> clearly. It is the balm. And Tundi, I'm sure, knows the importance of the skin microbiome, how to keep it protected, keep it healthy, keep it supported, and that is exactly what we do at Novicio. So we help you to reach that level of healthy, looking, glowing, and radiant complexion. How would you use Novicio in your facials? Because I know you did tell me that it's very popular in your facials yep. and you do love using it and people really respond well to it. So please walk us through. It's in a typical facial. Every single facial. Um, it's used in a replacement of an exfoliator. I use it as a brightening, purifying, drawing uh, product. So I educate clients by um, the harsh reality of granule exfoliators and especially when you have someone with dermatitis, eczema, very sensitive or flared acne, you do not want to aggravate the skin on the surface. So I tell them I'm doing like three things. I'm brightening you, I'm purifying you, and I'm gently micro exfoliating you. And usually red tones even out. I do it for about 15 minutes with active steam. My steamer's running, I'm doing a massage, and then I just slightly allow it to dry, mm -hmm. and then I remove it. Yeah, because if you let it uh, slightly dry, if you feel it tightening, it's okay, it's time to rinse. Mm -hmm. But you do not want to let it dry completely because it deems the product inactive and it just doesn't do much of anything for your skin. So you want to keep this product active. We always say our purifying mineral mask is a dynamic mask versus the static masks, which are the standard masks, the treatments that you just leave on your skin, let them dry, they sit there like a dead cat and do nothing. 
that is not really what we do. We want you to uh, activate it, we want you to massage it on wet skin, keep it active. And as long as you keep it wet, whether you're using a spritz of some sort or water, you can leave it on for longer, just as Tundi yeah. has mentioned. Yeah. The beauty of this purifying mineral mask is also, she did mention that it detoxifies, purifies the skin, but it actually leaves a micro layer of minerals behind. Mm -hmm. So that's very important for that step that she mentioned. People see their redness diminished and their rosacea uh, alleviated, this is why. Yeah, whenever there's like um, some kind of inflammatory state or people are coming because they're experiencing some kind of rash, that's the first thing I do, even like with like a 15, 20 minute express facial, it's the mask, the steam, tiny bit of toner, and then I pat with the balm to seal and they're out. We're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. So yeah. now you know. Very versatile. The secret. <laughs> <laughs> but you still need these magic hands apparently. Yeah. <laughs> to get that once in a while. Perfect glow. Thank you so much. Thank Tindy. you. It was a pleasure yes. to visit you today. Thank you for having me. And come check it out. A Halton Hills with more tips on how to protect your skin microbiome and to keep your skin healthy, glowing, and radiant. Take care. Bye.